Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome to the interior show around for this gothic brewery slash meadery that we built uh, about a few days ago. And so to start off, I'm just going to show you around the outside, and then we'll kind of work our way in from there. And also, i got to make sure I show you my favorite part of the build, which is kind of the basement area where all the big giant barrels of mead and ale are. So as I said to begin with, we have this little fence over here to the left, kind of a new style I decided to try out with the iron bars there. Uh, but if you are looking to do this, it's just pretty much a set of wooden pillars in the outside and then you can do two iron bars to the left and then one back and then pretty much the opposite direction if you're going uh, and making the fence to the right. So that's pretty much all I added to the outside besides um, these little crates instead of the hay and also the stairway over here. So um, this right here I connected up to the second story just to have kind of more entrances into the build and just give it a bit more style. And then this right here, you could either leave it open and kind of make this a secret little passage or room down here. Um, I mean, it could even lead down to like a thieves guild or something. That might be cool. Um, just some ideas for us maybe to build in the future. It would, I gotta be honest, it would be a pain in the ass because it would all have to be underground. It'd be a lot of digging and whatnot, but uh, I mean, it could be worth a try eventually. Um, so as I said, I also decided to switch up the hay blocks with these uh, crates, which are just the pistons, and uh, in this texture pack they actually they have like a lid which looks really cool, and I think the default one uh, pretty much looks the exact same as this, so if you are in default texture pack, um, you're in good hands. Now the other thing I added was some metadatas, and I added quite a few of them, not that many, but a little bit in this build, uh, just because I was kind of looking out for you who don't have mods or are stuck in the default texture pack who maybe can't have these things. Um, the problem with these are if uh, you decided to switch it up to this. The block is a cobweb, so you're kind of stuck moving through that, but usually you're not going to place a wine bottle in the spot you're going to go. Uh, so anyways, I, go, I went ahead and swapped these things up so they look like the wine bottles. It just kind of fits in with the whole style of the metery. And then to the left where we had this uh, big empty area downstairs, I added a bunch of stuff. So mainly just chests, and um, again with the metadatas and everything for the Conquest texture pack, uh, if you are using World Edit and OptiFine, you can switch them up to make all this cool stuff. Um, you have the option to switch like wooden blocks to crates and stuff. And I could have done a whole bunch of it, but just as I said before, I was kind of looking out for you guys in the default texture pack. And hopefully I'm able to show you guys some ideas of what you could do, even if you do or don't have the option for mods and stuff. Um, so as I said, these little crates, we got the chests. And then the main part that we're going to be focusing on are these big giant uh, barrels of mead. So to make these, it's pretty much just a little square, except the corners are going to be stairs. And then to make this little area where you might pour the meat out of, uh, you just stick a black piece of wool in there and then put a trapdoor over the top of that. And then to kind of give it a clever name, I just threw a sign up there. This one's called Troll Spit. Uh, this one's Dragon's Breath. And as you see throughout the build, there's going to be a bunch of those. Um, I will say the names tend to get worse and worse as we go up, just because I was kind of running out of ideas. But... Um, yeah, that's that. So let's go ahead and head up. I also decided to place some torches in here. Just pretty much the candles, which is the redstone torch with the item frames and some cobblestone. And yeah, that's about it for the downstairs. Just really kind of like this area. It's kind of hidden and secretive. And not many people really know about it unless they do some searching around and end up discovering this. So I'll go ahead and walk us in through the front. And this is also something I didn't really plan on doing. I was going to make the whole thing just kind of like a storage facility and like... A place where they kind of craft all the stuff but it kind of just fits perfectly it's like a little uh area where they can actually sit down and try the mead kind of like a pub or something but um yeah and then we have this little kind of desk area or bar area and then these new seats that i tried out which i really like definitely i'm going to start using these from now on instead of just the plain old stair as you can see these are kind of cool a bit more um detailed with the little design that the the trapdoor adds and then I placed a candle just for that nice bit of lighting um, some more of these wine bottles which again I think their item ID is 30 colon 1 if you do want to switch it and you just left and right click the cobweb whatever block you place down and then you do slash slash set block uh, 30 colon 1 and it should switch um, in fact let me just show you how to do that really quick so as you see place down a cobweb then I just left and right click it then we can do slash slash set uh, actually, you don't even need to do set block. You can just do set 30 colon 1, and it should turn out to be a wine bottle like that. Oh, that's kind of cool. They're different sizes. Yeah, that's really awesome. 
So um, some other stuff I placed in here. This little sideways door that you might see in the Midwestern style build, but I thought it kind of fit in perfect here. This little gray wolf pelt carpet. Um, this shelf with another kind of keg of mead in it, and this is moonlight mead, and then you can see it's pretty much only just a little wooden log with the the tap thing that comes out, which is just a lever. And then this one, I got some Silver Sun Ale. Uh, again, the names, you gotta admit, they're pretty clever, but they will get worse as they go up. And then this little desk area in the side with a torch and a wine bottle. And then also, I only decided to place one picture in this whole build. Uh, it was really the only one that kind of fit the style, so I didn't really use too much of those. And here we go, the far left or back side of the build, this is where I decided to place in the stairwell. And as we go up, this is kind of some more storage area. Um, I really like the look of the blue carpet. I think it fit this build pretty damn well, um, especially when it's kind of put up against these little wine shelves, which are, I'm not entirely sure what the item ID is. It might be 133 colon one, possibly. In fact, I wouldn't even know. Don't do that. But there's a website you can look up all of them. I think it's just called like uh, theconquesttexturepack.com. And hopefully that works, or maybe it's .net, I really have no idea. But uh, somehow I stumbled across it and found all the item IDs, decided to switch some stuff up. And I gotta say, this looks pretty cool. Um, it really fits the build. And then so to the right of this, um, it is just this big giant barrel of uh, ale. This is just sunset ale. And we also have some torches and stuff. And then uh, when you place in stairs, a lot of times I'll see people just kind of leave it open. But that just <laughs> it leaves room for someone to fall down possibly break their legs. So definitely add in the fences to kind of block it in. Plus it adds more detail and personally just, it, I think it really looks a lot better. Um, now the thing is with this, you might be thinking, well, is this like a pink block of wool? How does it look like this? But no, it's actually just a plain old, I believe it's the oak wood. So um, in theory, it really shouldn't look too bad if you are in the default, it would just look like that and just kind of look like a little shelf that maybe doesn't have as much detail as with the metadata ID on there, but um, it could still work. So as we go up, oh, and before we do that, let me show you. This is actually where our stairs came up and connected, so yeah, that's that. Just kind of gives the, the player uh, more options on how they want to kind of move around the world, which is something that uh, could be really enjoyable. So then this is the top floor. Uh, I gotta say, um, besides these little wine or mead, shelves this is probably my least favorite floor and then this might be this is probably contending for the top two or something there's, just, there's like a lot of clutter kind of but um it fits the build so this is pretty much just like the last area of storage uh kind of left room for this big giant open ceiling which i thought uh really fit the build especially during uh night time when you got the moonlight coming in and then you can kind of see that little farm village off in the distance and then we just had this last barrel of mead. Obviously the name is probably the worst one. Goblin's Goo. But yeah, that's that. Another blue carpet. Uh, I'm still really liking those. And then I placed in, uh, this is just the crafting table. It pretty much looks the same. Didn't do anything with the metadatas for that one. Uh, but it did spawn this little cool map thing, which I really like. Maybe it's like a recipe for the mead or something. And then here's one more little wine bottle. And then two more kegs of alcohol. So this one's Mountain's Roar. And then this one's Mystic's Mead. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the build. So guys, let me know what you thought about it down in the comments. Also, if you have any more ideas for some builds in the future, the next thing I think I'll be doing is showing you a little new build that I came up with in the Nordic style, which is actually, if you didn't know, uh, my favorite style ever. Uh, I'm surprised I really haven't done a build on it just yet, but hopefully you guys are excited to see that. Um, it should be up in the next one or two days. So uh, yeah, just want to thank you guys again for watching and hopefully I'll see you next time.